FSCM Image 40 is the first image to utilize PeopleTools 859. Among many new features, PeopleTools 859 delivers a redesigned home page that includes the movement of recently used and favorites, the home page drop down options, and notifications. In addition, the new global search field is at the top and center of the home page where you can access improved search based navigation. The Recently Used icon opens a left side list of menu options that you visited. The Favorites icon does the same. The new global search box provides access to search navigation to help you find a specific menu or tile or to perform a global content search in a selected area. When selecting all content, the system returns results across different content areas. If you select a specific content area, the search is specific to that area. Results are limited to items that you have security access to. When using the navbar menu, options are listed alphabetically and breadcrumbs are displayed at the top. For additional features in PeopleTools 859, see the PeopleTools 859 Highlights video or the New Features Overview on My Oracle Support. This completes the PeopleTools 859 Uptake Feature Description. PeopleSoft Maintenance Management delivers two Kibana dashboards that provide greater visibility into technician labor assignments and unassigned tasks and asset maintenance history. The Work Order Labor Assignments dashboard allows you to analyze technician and shop labor assignments as well as unassigned work order tasks. This dashboard includes visualizations like future workload by technician and criticality and technician pass performance. Applied filters modify data across all visualizations. At the bottom of the dashboard, the Work Order Task Details table displays a list of work order tasks that make up the data shown in the visualizations. You can use the task link to access the work order page and view further details about the work order or modify information as needed. The Work Order Asset Maintenance History Dashboard allows you to analyze labor time and cost associated with maintaining different asset types. This dashboard includes visualizations like top five problem codes by asset type and most costly assets to maintain. In the Work Order Task Asset Details table, use the Asset link to access the Asset Information page and view further details about the asset. Additional features for this dashboard are identical to those of the Work Order Labor Assignments dashboard. PeopleSoft Expenses added a Kibana dashboard to review employee travel policy violations. This dashboard is available for any role in the organization. The Kibana dashboard monitors travel and expense policy violations and provides information about employees who are not adhering to company travel policy, what policy violations are most often encountered on submitted expense reports, and where corporate credit card misuse may occur. The dashboard provides a departmental view of expense activity. Use the calendar icon to focus on a particular date range. In addition, you can filter on additional fields such as business unit, expense type, and so on. The focus on violations is selected from submitted expense reports. The top travel policy violations chart shows the most frequent violations. It also shows why expense reports are held up in the approval process, sent back to the submitter, or denied if the issue is a clear violation of travel and expense policy. This chart indicates that most violations are for expense reports submitted without a required receipt. This fundamental policy violation can indicate that submitters need more training, or a pre-review step can be added to the approval chain to validate receipts before it makes its way through manager approvals.
Another analytic is activity with non-preferred merchants by employee. This chart highlights which employees are using merchants not approved by the organization. You can drill into the details to see where an employee is using merchants outside of the approved list. Let's drill into the employee with the highest dollar amount of non-preferred merchant spend. The system has two filters on this data. In this example, we'll focus on the employee only. The grid shows multiple expense reports and points out that non-preferred merchants were used on three of them. Select a row to view the details. The General Information page displays a brief summary of the expense report. You can access receipt attachments, accounting defaults, and see when the report was created and last updated. Use the View Details button for more information. The Expense Entry page shows that Hotel 6 was used, which is a non-preferred merchant. The employee entered a reason why this hotel was used, which may or may not be acceptable. At this point, you can decide whether to speak to the employee about using preferred merchants. Or, you can speak to your corporate travel department and suggest that this lodging company be added as a preferred merchant for that location. This completes our demonstration of Kibana dashboards. PeopleSoft enhances the Fluid Forms and Approval Builder and the Page and Field Configurator features. The Fluid Forms and Approval Builder now assists with moving existing classic forms to Fluid Forms. You can convert forms that were created using the Classic tool and then edit the Fluid Form, realign the form fields, and leverage the new section and time widgets. In Page and Field Configurator, you can now use the Review Sequence Processing page to edit the sequence description. A new Comments box at the Sequence level is available to provide a more complete reason for the sequence. A new Technical Details tab helps you distinguish similar fields used in the configuration. This completes the Forms Builder and Field Configurator Enhancements description. For Update Image 40, PeopleSoft introduces the Match Exception Collaboration Center, which is a single location for the different stakeholders involved in resolving invoice exceptions to collaborate and define an action plan to resolve each exception. While Payables owns the invoice and exception, other stakeholders provide comments and attachments in the Collaboration Center with full segregation of duties. The Match Exception Collaboration Summary landing page allows you to review and analyze match exceptions. The page contains the match exception role and description and supplier information. In addition, key transactions involved in matching, like the purchase order, receipt, and voucher, are available using the tabs across the top. User IDs that are set up as Match Exception Collaboration Administrators within User Preferences can view all statuses. Without this designation, you can view only assigned and open exceptions. The Match Exception detail displays a side-by-side -side comparison of the transactions involved with the exception. Stakeholders can take action from the contextual list of related actions. The actions listed are dynamic and change based on permissions for the role. Add comments and attachments as needed. These additions are available for the next group of users who work on the exception. You can also assign other groups and users to analyze, review, and provide information to resolve the exception. This completes our demonstration of the Match Exception Collaboration Center. Due to changes in the indirect value added tax and implications of Brexit for 2021, PeopleSoft enhances BAT treatment and tax logic for the supply of goods and services, master data, and VAT reporting. Changes to VAT rules are shown here for transactions between the United Kingdom and European Union member states. Based on Brexit law changes and the most common usage scenarios, review setup in these areas. 
Be sure to consider the transaction type, financial reporting structure, and previous implementation selections. The mandatory text on invoices allowing zero rate sales to the European Union is no longer required. In addition, there are changes to European sales list requirements. See these two notes on My Oracle Support for more information about your PeopleSoft system and Brexit changes. This completes the Brexit changes feature description. PeopleSoft public sector customers now have the ability to integrate with Oracle's cloud solution for permitting and licensing. Before we get into the details of the integration, let's provide a quick overview of Oracle permitting and licensing. The new cloud-native solution helps local governments address permits and inspections, planning and zoning, code enforcement, and business licensing. The solution platform helps agencies deliver service to the public and process work more efficiently with key capabilities like maps that provide visual, contextual information for properties and parcels for all users, easy-to-use features that are designed specifically for agency staff members like a drag-and-drop way to schedule hearings for entitlement applications in planning and zoning, a platform that is fully configurable by business analysts in your departments and not IT. For example, you design your own unique intake forms, fee schedules, and workflow for approval processes. And robust fees and payments capabilities to collect payment for transactions and services by credit card, check, cash, and other common methods. Because permitting and licensing is revenue generating, it's important to integrate with the agency's ERP system. In addition to cloud ERP, Oracle permitting and licensing is also integrated with PeopleSoft General Ledger. Public sector customers now have a streamlined method to record accounting transactions in PeopleSoft General Ledger. These include permit, entitlement, or license application fees, inspection-related fees, citation, and more. Utilizing Oracle's Integration Cloud, this integration captures the permitting and licensing accounting data and publishes the journal ID back to the system using PeopleSoft Integration Broker. With the integration to Oracle Permitting and Licensing, PeopleSoft public sector customers can streamline land management and regulatory processes with a new, modern cloud solution and ensure accounting is seamlessly integrated with the PeopleSoft general ledger they rely on. To learn more, go to PeopleSoft Online Documentation, Integrating with Public Sector Compliance and Regulation. This completes the Integrating with Public Sector Compliance and Regulation feature description. The General Ledger Reconciliation Workbench now displays the approval chain of a transaction. Use the Assignments tab to select the View Approval Flow link. The General Ledger Reconciliation Approval Flow page displays the approval chain as well as approver comments. This allows you to view all approvers and their comments when reconciling transactions. In addition, use the Create Reconciliations page to select a reconciliation set when creating reconciliation transactions. This feature allows you to be more specific when creating reconciliations. This completes the Account Reconciliation Enhancements description. Use the new Mass Update Accounting Entries page to correct accounting entries that are in a posted status. The Search tab is used to enter search and change criteria for accounting entry changes. Use the Result tab to review the selected changes select the records you wish to change, and update the entries. This completes the Correct Accounting Errors and Mass feature description.
PeopleSoft Supplier Contract Management enhances the document approval process to include a new denied status and the ability to search for denied documents. When an approver denies a document, the Document Management page displays denied as the status. The page also displays a message indicating the document denial and the measures needed to remedy the document. Use the Denied checkbox on the Find an Existing Document and Keyword Search for Documents pages to include denied documents in the search results. This completes the Deny Status for Supplier Documents feature description. PeopleSoft Asset Management enhances Canadian capital cost allowance reporting to support the Accelerated Investment Incentives Regulation. The incentive enables enhanced first-year write-offs and suspends the capital cost allowance half-year rule. On the Classes page, use the Capital Cost Allowance section to enable enhanced write-off methods for eligible property that is subject to the capital cost allowance rules. Select the half-year rule option to indicate the guideline tax class is subject to the half-year rule. Select an incentive for the guidance tax class when it is subject to accelerated investment incentives. You can select either accelerated capital cost allowance or full expensing measure. Select none when an incentive does not apply. In addition to the enhancement to the Classes page, the Capital Cost Allowance Report includes half-year rule and incentive indicators. This completes the Canadian Accelerated Investment Incentives feature description. Additional features added for FSCM Update Image 40 include using the Delegation Framework feature for grants, resource management, program management, and treasury fluid approvals, Customer Contract Change Audits in Receivables, System for Award Management or SAM Updates in Payables and Order Management, Level 3 P-Card Loading Enhancements in Purchasing, and Multiple Enhancements in Inventory and Mobile Inventory Management for COVID-19. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.